You know those eerie feelings you get when you're playing a multiplayer game and there's no one on the server apart from you? For instance, boot up Minecraft right now and scope around for some, for some deserted server that's running, but no one's on. Feels pretty weird, right? Well, this is what my hobby was, going around through these barely running games and seeing what people left behind. Not just Minecraft either. Counter-Strike, Team Fortress 2, World of Warcraft. I used all of these games and explored the special servers nearly every day. I logged down what was on them. Buildings, maps, announcements, and then my friend would come along and wipe that slash build on what we'd logged in. I would get paid about 50 bucks for every server I cleared, depending on the size. So anyway, I'm sitting there sipping on a coke when my unnamed friend, due to security reasons, rings me up on, rings me up over Steam and says that there's a really big indie map that just abandoned. And he wants to check it out. He also mentioned that the map was larger than normal, so. He would pay me around a hundred. So I accepted and went to download the client. It was an old website, the design was pretty poor and it didn't look very popular so I speculated that he wanted me to just see if it was working. So I checked, created an account and booted up the game. It was normal enough, sort of like Second Life. That game where you play as yourself and run around and buy or build stuff. So I started at the server maintenance screen and went over to some of the hosting stats and found that the server was being run from a single tower that had a proxy. I couldn't list the location and get a proper ping to report to my friend, but since he was going to delete it, I guess I would make it up. I scanned over the other active servers and it seemed like the only active one was this one. He was probably going to wipe it and demolish the company project. So I guess that's why I'm getting such a big bonus for it. I logged into the server with a loading screen came up. Hints. A bar and some pictures of people playing, the usual. After the screen had completed, my avatar was dropped into a little forest. What I assumed would be outside of any main city or town, so I walked forward hoping that some sort of tutorial would guide me around, but nothing happened. The graphics were quite advanced for a game its age. The forest spanned for ages and the trees were like that of Elwyn Forest or of World of Warcraft. I told all of this to my friend and we kept the channel open for fast information. After walking around in the forest for about 20 minutes I came to a bigger than normal tree. It had this big door in the front. It looked like it had been carved into the wood by hand. Kind of like the ones in Nightmare Before Christmas, but anyway, the cursor came up with the interaction symbol and then the screen went back black and my voice channel cut out. There was no loading screen, only the sound of poorly looped 8-bit music. That was the last loading screen. So I waited and waited until finally the game comes back in with my voice channel. The only thing in the entire tr tree was a big mirror, totally separate from the middle of the tree from the other half. My character then walks up to the tree without my control and puts a hand towards the reflection. After this, I was suddenly brought to my desktop. Along with the icon for the game and all the files were missing too. The HTTP was also finished along with it. I asked my friend if he cut the server nearby, and in an instant, no. 
Anyways, he transfers the money to my PayPal and logs out. So I go to sleep that night thinking about what else I'll spend on my 100 bucks on as I drift into sleep. I wake up about six times that night, always seeing that damn tree. It's not even scary, just annoying. It's a vividly recreated mirror, just like the one out of the game, and I kept touching it. I get up at around 6 a.m. after being unable to sleep and decide to hop on the computer for the weekend and rummage around on Steam for some good deals. I get about halfway through watching some Saints Row trailers when I get invited to play some CSS. The name was added to my friend, but I don't recognize him at all. The name, actually resembling mine, keeps flashing and after a couple of minutes I decide to oblige. The server was pretty normal, just uh, Dust Dash 2 with no announcements and him and myself on opposite teams. It must be a peer-to-peer -peer because the server's name is exactly the same as mine. I bet it's my friend pulling a prank. After I go through the options and to get my game all set, I decided to buy a AWP and shoot this guy up with. But whenever I press the key, I have a sign to bind the game freezes and goes back to normal in about two seconds. So I decided it's just some buggy server coding and continue with the game with a trusty old Glock. After I run out of spawn, I can hear a fair laugh or giggle from the other side of the map. I brush it off, a script to plug in and kept keep running around. I look for this guy for about 10 minutes when I'm about to leave, but I see him in the corner of my eye running around the walkway. I follow him under, but when I re-emerge on the other side, I see not the other side of the map the inside of a big tree and a large mirror stretch across my screen. The reflection is not of the terrorist I'm playing as, but of me. I'm sitting there at my keyboard, I throw my headset off and check my webcam. Nothing is turned on. What the hell is this? In the reflection, my hand extends from my mouse and begins cutting into its arm with its nails, smiling in the entire time while it does it. The cuts start appearing on my arms as he giggles and does so. I scream I turn off my computer. Before fading to black, my face is flashing on the screen, all distorted and rotted. I wait about four days before turning my computer back on. I need to do this, I tell myself, for work. I turn the computer back on and start Word. The program immediately shuts down and begins booting up Battlefield 3. What?! I say out loud. I wasn't even using battle log. This is too suspicious. I'm about to turn the computer off in fear of seeing my doppelganger start to go all cutty cutty again. But then I see I was invited by my old friend. The server's pretty normal, just a squad DM and Caspian border. I spawn and select my weapons after this. I alt tab and open the chat with my friend, only static. Hello, I said in my microphone. Only static has returned. Come on, dude, don't do this now. I say in the hopes of getting a response. Whatever, let's play. I say. Oh, I'm so tired by this. I run around the map looking for my friend amidst the, all the bushes and trees lying around the gas station. I see the model running in, behind a building. It didn't look like the silly guy of a normal model of the game. I remember with Dust 2 and decided to turn the computer off. I reach up to the power and press it once. I look back down at my screen and all I can see is the tree now bearing at the same time. Oh shit, I say in a struggle to look away. The power wouldn't turn off as my character starts unattended towards the largest of the tree. The door opens and Guess who's sitting against the mirror? Sitting exactly like me, my doppelganger staring blankly into the screen. 
He changes since the last time I saw him. His eyes are sunken, his bones are now clearly visible over his fleshy creases of his face and skin. He grimaces and starts jabbing himself with a piece of wood. <laughs> I scream as action replicate from my body. I reach for the cord and a piece of wood and splinters start cutting into my chest. I finally grasp the cord and pull it out. I laugh and scream. The laughing and screaming die down on both ends of the voice channel. I'm rushed to the hospital and I'll sweep about 60 stitches from my cuts and gashes. I sound my computer when I return home. And a couple days pass and things are looking down for me. I lost my job after having too many days off, still thinking about the tree and my doppelganger. I begin walking around the interior of my house thinking about what I can do. I think about mirrors, me, insanity, how I can overcome this bastard. Then it clicks. The mirrors and trees, I need to get back to the game knowing the HTTP is down. I realize I need to host it. I buy a cheap Dell computer from my local store and set up a peer-to-peer -peer host in the hopes that I can just that I can just get me and this bastard in one room again. The server pings online and I as I enter what I remember to be a host. Hatches and strings of code and files residue I can find. After working about three days I finally get the server back online. Web address works and I brace myself as I click login. The page is different. It had pictures of me losing my job as well as my loved ones and people crying. Crying people being killed, beheaded, tortured, cannibalism, and decapitation lined my screen as the game played with that same howling noise that I first heard when I first met the doppelganger. I log in. The lonely page goes black once more and I'm dropped into the forest again. It's different, gore and blood splatters the entire landscape and bodies hang from the branches. They follow me with their black cold eyes as my character progresses through the landscape. In real life I'm shaking, the barriers of my game and reality slowly drift apart and I advance deeper and deeper into the forest. I'm walking on my own now, no keyboard, no mouse. It's me in real life. I continue. Falling over corpses as I keep going. I have to do this, I keep telling myself. I have to. I have to. Until I finally come to the tree. I brace myself and walk towards the main door, screaming, still ringing in my ears. It slowly, it slows down to mere giggles as I walk towards the mirror. I see myself covered in blood. Elongated features, black eyes looking at me. It starts rasping and clawing towards me, breaking the mirror. Now was the time. I pull out my pocket mirror and saw my strength and show it to my doppelganger. I heard a massive burst of screaming echoes, making my eardrums bleed as I held the mirror with all my willpower. I suddenly awake in my room, on the floor, covered in blood, with the mirror laying to my left. I calm down, it's over. I got up to collect and collect myself. After a quick shower and a glass of water, I got out of my car and drove as fast as I could to the nearest bridge of water. I got the mirror and threw it down into the water and began to walk home, safe, and the hero and a hero after defeating the doppelganger. That's why I'm writing this now, to save you the trouble of all of this. Be cautious whenever you join any type of empty or abandoned server. You might just start to hear the laughs and giggles that go towards you, and if you encounter your own doppelganger, I fear the worst. A couple of months ago, the police drenched lakes around the country and found mirrors exactly like the ones I used to read him the first time, and I have a hunch he won't make the same mistake again. <laughs>